Hey, how bitches? Welcome back to another episode of my of the game. My love for you is evermore. In the last episode, nothing much really happened, but like we were apparently fucking in the middle of the hallway, and Daichi had to say something, and it was like really funny. And we're gonna work with. We're gonna. We found out who that girl, well, the woman from the the tea place was, and also. We're dealing with our clients and we just got a ma marriage proposal from the one reason why we even started this damn game to begin with from a sugar daddy. Ah, love it. So there was a sugar daddy in this game and no one told me about it. Rude. Anyways, anyways, shall we start? Oh yeah. Check out my Zazzle. Just check it out. I don't care. Or don't. I don't give a shit. Anyways. Let's get you to do the game. Ken got up from his seat and moved closer to me. No. Fuck off. Will you be my bride? Yeah, sugar daddy. Hell yeah. Got sugar daddy. Told you I got sugar daddies waiting to marry me. But like, I'm going to kill him and get his fortune. So it's okay. What is happening right now? What do you think's happening? You got a proposal from, the sh from a sugar daddy. Like. That the only reason why you even played this game. Like, what? So stupid. Don't leave me hanging, princess. Ah! Oh, love it. Yes, daddy. We shall get married. Going to have to take a hard press pass on that. <laughs> why? It's your only chance of, like, marrying into money. Oh, my God. Stupid. So imagine like saying no to someone who's rich <laughs> red flag what a dumb bit it's okay uh ken we're just really dumb she would rather fuck minoru stupid i know you're my client and we hardly know each other dude i've only seen pictures of you but i don't have much time and you're so smart and nice <laughs> <laughs> he does not have standards, does he? <laughs> yeah, but I'm also loud, annoying. I want to fuck Mr. Ayazawa and Amane at the same time. Like, I'm all over the place. No, no. I'm... I did say Mr. Ayazawa, right? I think I did, yeah. See? I'm stupid as well. I'm not smart. Uh... And also, I'm really mean. I don't know what the hell you're on about. Okay, smart and nice, I'll write that down as your criteria for a marriage partner. But, damn, you're actually kind of immature, Ken. Make sure to introduce, include works in PR, is friends with my best friend in the whole world, and has the name Okiopai, your mama ho too. What'd you fucking say about my mom, Ken? Oh, that is it. We are having a throwdown, bitch. I know your pristine little fucking ass isn't going to be my ass. I've had too much street experience to be beaten by the likes of your asses. Anyways. Oh, sorry. That's just my last name. Also, okay. D d d why would... You, I mean, yeah, I, I guess my name is pretty unique. I mean, do you know any Japanese people who were named Okiopai? That's, uh, uh... That wouldn't be great it wouldn't be a great name to give your child. It'd be very, sus very disgusting. And you would have to be on a on a list, on a on a list somewhere. I is he actually serious? I think this is how Minoru is with other women, and I think he's emulating that. You've just never experienced it yet. As I sat there baffled, luckily Minoru came back. What, what's going on in here? He heard everything, didn't he? I knew it. Oh, I was just convincing Okiopai to marry me. What's going to happen next? I wonder how is he going to react? Does he really like us? <gasps> he does say what? Now, he could just be surprised because they just met. But I'm going to take it the wrong way. Um, as, like, he really loves me. And does not just want to fuck me. <laughs> but that's the best face I've seen all day. And it's still my favorite face. 
you don't have to be so surprised about it. I mean, we did just meet, dude. It's a big surprise. He's in love with my Okio pies, yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> you can't be serious, right? <laughs> Okio pie? He's kidding, right? I I really hope he is, hunty. But in reality, I'm like, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. You know, I have a whole bunch of sugar daddies waiting to marry me, so. <laughs> Not a new thing, but oh well. That's what you get when you have Okio pies. Um, well, he really did ask me to be his bride, if that's what you mean. Ken, she's my business partner. You're our client. No. Ah, uh, since when the fuck could you speak for me, Minoru? Oh my god, we're back to hating Minoru like that? I love it. I miss that. I miss saying Minoru like 50 million times like that. That was really funny. That's my comedy, I guess. I'm a comedic genius, of course. Uh, isn't the customer always right? <laughs> uh, no, the customer is barely, in fact, ever right. Only if you go to Big W and like they say, because I swear to God, they always do this. They always say like they have like a sale rack and then like you scan it and you scan the item and it's like full price but like it was in the sale rack and you and it's not like it's it's not like um it's not like one of those things where like where like oh a, an item just got misplaced there like all of the item the the same item is there like 50 times like there's no way a customer got 50 of those items and put them on that sale rack so like, no, then yeah, yeah, you are right in that situation. You, the customer, are right to, in that situation. And like, Big W really gotta fucking fix their bullshit. Like, it's happened to me like twice. I swear. We're here to give you advice. Stop playing around, dude. Oh, now you, you know what, Minoru, the same could be said about you, but yet here you are. I'm not hungry, I swear. Oh crap, it had to happen when it was silent too. I know, right? They couldn't they couldn't fist fight and then and then it happens. No, it just has to happen now. Are you hungry, Okio Pie? Oh, yes, Daddy! I'm very hungry. That's what it sounds like to me. Or, or should I call him mommy? We, we, we said he was a lot like our mom. <laughs> yes, mommy. I'm really hungry. Starving. Now pull, the, pull down those pants. Both of you, pull down those pants. It's getting kind of late, so uh, yeah, kind of. Not to worry. Let me take you out for dinner. <laughs> Let me take you out for dinner, my sweet rose. My middle name is Rose. In the beginning of the game, I was named Rose, so he's not wrong there. <laughs> he's just saying my name, Minoru. He can't. He probably didn't meet me until. And probably maybe on the first step of. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. He knows my fucking name. Why, why am I even continuing the joke? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know who else does this? Drew Monson. And that makes me feel better. <laughs> my toe cold, was it? Love him. All right, where are, where are we going? After a long day, I could use a good meal. Okay, let's go to KFC. I feel like chicken. Minoru! No, this is my chance to fuck. How dare you take my chance to fuck? Why don't we all have dinner? We have some business to finish discussing. Uh, anything for you, my princess. <laughs> Dang, we make this guy really horny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, daddy. Mm. And so the three of us set out for dinner. For some dick. Anyways. For some cow testicles. Was bull testicles? Hot. Love it. 
love eating bull testicles. The food, not not actual testicles on on the bull. That would be disgusting. <laughs> As if y'all ain't puking right now. Minoru and Ken, Minoru, Ken, and I ended up at an upscale eatery in Roppongi. Ropon, Roppongi, Roppongi, the Roppongi, Roppongi. I don't know. After we finalized some business matters, the three of us were enjoying a funny conversation. And then I pulled down both of their pants and sucked their dick because I was starving. <laughs> Do you want to hear how we ended up in bunk beds? Ken's like, bro, it's the first time I've ever been in a bunk bed. I've always had a California king-sized bed. You know, those beds that cover a whole room. The whole room was just bed. It was really, got really annoying after a while, actually. <laughs> Oh no, she does not want to hear any more of your stories, Ken. No, I want to hear the stories. If Minoru says no, then I say yes. Tell me, Ken, or, or else I won't marry you. That's not true at all. Don't listen to him. So true. I have to get all of the information I can on, on college age Minoru. Why? You don't want to know college age Minoru. How old is he now? I don't know, actually. College age Minora was the sweetest thing. What changed? Nothing like the confident front you've probably gotten to know. I, bitch, you think I haven't figured out that he's an insecure ass bitch? Boy, you're stupid, Ken. Not worthy to be my sugar daddy. A sugar daddy for me should know that I'm a smart bitch. Even though, even though I can be a dumb bitch sometimes, I'm a smart bitch. I'm sure you I'm sure you're not wondering anything about where I learned how mom moms act. <laughs> Anymore, yeah. I recall how I told Minoru he was acting comforting like a mom the other day. A proper mom by the way, nothing like my mom, who I don't even consider as my mom. But like, you know, I don't want to say her name, so I just call her someone who gave birth to me. Should I, I should just say that then. By fucking Christ, I'm a dumb bitch. It most certainly had to be Ken's influence. He did say that, yeah. Teehee. Don't do that. Teehee. Oh my god, what are you? You're not... This is not 2006 YouTube, alright? Stop it. Ken is just like a dotting mum. Well, maybe an embarrassing one if we're honest. But I love that. He's told me about bets Minoru has, Minoru has lost and how he got sick during a speech and debate. Oh my god, hot. I would love to see that. Do you guys have any videos? No? How old are we? Damn. Brace yourself, this story is my favorite. It's how I knew Minoru and I would be best friends for life. All right, bracing myself, tell me. Oh jeez. Minoru took a long sip of his drink. <laughs> That's how I suck that dick and suck up anything up my pussy. So I had a gorgeous penthouse reserved right next to Tokyo U with a private rose garden and everything. Then the view was out of this world. The view was out of this world. It was made for royalty. You'd fit in perfectly, princess. You know what? I've never felt this special. Minora never makes me feel this special. Do you really think I would fit in in such royalty um, places? Uh, Ken, no one's ever said that to me, <laughs> unfortunately. Kind of sucks, actually. It kind of makes me sad. Um, tell me. So I asked Minoru to become my roommate, but he said no, which surprised me. He told me straight that I can't get the real college experience that way. Why the fuck do you want to know the real college experience, dude? Like, ugh, it's mini beady. It's mini... BDSM rooms everywhere. I bet you. <laughs> I would know. My friend went to college. <laughs> and he wanted us to split the cost of a normal dorm so we can be equal tenants. Yeah, a normal dorm. Like a two like a two bedroom one. But when I saw that 
when I saw they had one even cheaper with bunk beds, I knew I just had to try it. Aw, how adorable. You see, I would marry you, Ken. You're adorable sometimes. Sometimes. You're an adorable sugar daddy. I normally go for men older than me by, like, a shit ton, but you're adorable. You're alright. I would fuck you, and I would marry you. I would love to be your bride if you'd be my sugar daddy. Love it. I'd never seen a real live bunk bed in my whole life. <sighs> I have, but like my sister, my sister would always say, I don't want to sleep under, like, I don't want to sleep in the lower bunk bed where like, okay, first of all, she hates bunk beds. She's like, I don't like the top one, but I definitely, I definitely wouldn't want to sleep under a bed with me on the top. Fucking rude ass bitch! Oh my god, why would you say that, bitch? Why would you say that? So rude, she's so fucking rude. But like, we always shared a room, so like bunk beds would have been like the cooler option. But no. Obviously not. Sorry, that was my glasses, don't make up rumors. I've never seen, yeah, whatever. And Minoru here let me live out my bunk bed dreams. Aw, what a sweetie. Where's that sweetie now, Minoru? What happened? Why are you such a cunt now? Yeah, getting laughed at every time we had guests over. Was that the dream? So what? You guys are in fucking college. You guys were like 18. Like, who gives a shit? God, Minoru, you're so insecure as shit. Ken here is a confident boy, and I love that. I was able to have so much fun though. Thank you for enduring the embarrassment for me. Aww, sweet. Unlike Manoru. It was then I knew that you must really like me for me. Aww. Alright, can that be the last story? No, Manoru, shut up. Ken, keep talking. No, boo Incor! The crowd wants more! I'm the crowd. I'm like big enough for at least like two people. So yeah, I'm a crowd. <sighs> we have to appease the lady, Minnow. Minnow? Yeah, we're gonna like mention Minnow. Minnow, damn. Really? That's your nickname, Minoru? Minnow? I'm not saying it. I like saying Minoru, but... Adorable. Nonetheless. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you she'd do it. <laughs> Minnow. Is that a nickname? Whoops. He warned me not to say it in front of you. <gasps> Did you? Why? Why? Minnow is like, Minoru looks even more embarrassed now. There's no need to be embarrassed. I think it's a splendid nickname. That's because you picked it, bit. <laughs> I love that fucking face he makes. <laughs> it's like an upside down smile. It's so whiny. <laughs> I love it. How about if I don't say it again, then you tell Okiopai one more story. I don't even know what kind of story to tell. An embarrassing story. A sweet story. I'm going to have Ken decide. I don't care about which story. I just want to know more stories. Oh, I want to hear at least one more, but what do you suggest, Ken? What about if you tell the story of how you knew we'd be best friends for life? Huh? Oh, jeez. I'd love that. Tell me. I don't even know this one, so please do tell. All right, all right. It's not much of a story. I don't give a shit. After spending a few more weeks in classes with you, I could tell you were completely genuine. You don't put on airs and you don't, and you say exactly how you feel. Love it. And like Minori, who's a basic ass beta bitch. Kind of, kind of like Okiopai here. She's honest to a fault. Oh my god, he wants to, he wants to fuck Ken. Bicon! I knew he was a Bicon, but holy shit, he wants a woman like Ken. Kind of says something, dude. My cheeks heat up at Minoru's comment. Oh, see, if Okiopai and I are similar, then we must be really compatible. Minoru's like, no, 
she's mine. I want to fuck her and then I'll toss her aside and I don't want to ever see her again. If I see her with you, I'm going to unfriend you on Facebook. Okie okay, and I, I just know we'd make a perfect couple. <laughs> we would. We would, Ken. We would. Maybe so. Regardless of all of the teasing, I can tell that Ken is a genuine person. He is. I'm happy Minoru has someone like him. Because, you know, he's kind of a loser. I expected him to be a loser. When I heard he was raised alone by his uncle or that he didn't have much money growing up, I was worried about him. Now I feel like I can relax a little bit knowing that he has someone by his side. Okay, but you still don't know the story of why... Well, I don't know the story. We don't know the story of why he likes to fuck women so much. Play with women's hearts. The three of us finished our meals, enjoying the good company. They didn't even tell us what the fuck they ate. Rude. Have we had lasagna? Hot. Love it. The next day... Minoru and I oversee a photo shoot in the in a in promotion of Hero's new album and tour to follow. <sighs> Why are you topless? Put on a shirt, please. Oh my Christ! Stop. Hero is posing shirtless for a lot of the album art, which he's never done before. Oh my God! I knew it. He was he's gonna prove to everyone that he is not a kid. A man. It should be interesting to see the fan reaction to this new album. They're gonna freak out. Judging by how you've been staring at him, I'm sure he'll be a money maker. Shut up, Minoru! Plus, I don't need to see any more of his naked body. I've seen him in all positions. Even had a pregnancy scare because of him. So I would shut the fuck up if I were you. Minoru. Or shall I, shall I say, Mino? I'm not staring, I'm just overseeing the shoot. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that, honey. She's gonna masturbate about it later. You sure about that? Yeah, Minoru, we're not like you, hunty. Where you would like stare at someone even if they were like covered up in all. Even if they covered up all their fucking crevices, you'd still stare at them in a very sexual way. Minoru, so I don't think she should be talking. I'm definitely sure. You're just trying to embarrass me since you got so royally em embarrassed last night. Yeah, exactly. Tell like it is. Isn't that right, Mino? You're such a you're you're you're. Bleh. Oh my God. You're sure mouthy today. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. Minoru is embarrassed. But you bring up an interesting point. I think I deserve to hear an embarrassing college story from you. Oh, you don't want to hear any embarrassing college stories about me, hunty. Um, it was all sorts of embarrassment. First of all, dealing with men who were like older than my dad. And then second of all, drinking so fucking much, bro. Oh, I drank so much to the point where I felt nothing and I was like day drinking. And then I puked and then that was when I was like, shit, dude, I gotta stop. <laughs> And so I did. And horrible. This is just horrible. Sorry, we're working right now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and we weren't working last night. <laughs> We're getting to know him. The fuck are you on about? You don't need to know anything about me. You had your motherfucking chance while we were working with Hero, but no. Before I can rebuttal, Hero's manager walks over. Oh my god. Ugh. Sir, just do your crack and shut up. Sorry to interrupt. I want to say thank you for putting us on this new path with Hero. You opened my eyes. Thank you for hearing us out. We want Hero and Diamond Records to be happy and successful, even though he could know his fucking worth and go to another company, but okay. I have some tickets for you two to Hero's first tour date in a couple of weeks. Hi, I want to see it. Oh, thanks so much. I would love to see my ex perform. Uh, pardon me, but I assume you two would like to attend the concert together. Um, I guess for work purposes or something. 
uh, let Minoru respond. I look at Minoru. I'm not sure who else I'd go to a hero concert with. Exactly, other than his ex, duh. Smart. Right, and this is our first client together. It'll be fun. Oh my god, did I just let Minoru decide what to say? When I could have said no? Bitch. <sighs> Whatever. Someone's excited. Mm, yeah, it's my ex. Minoru, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't get it. It's excellent. This envelope has two tickets. Excuse me. You know what I don't get? The woman. Like, they made such a big... Well, Minoru made such a big deal about that woman. And, like, he had to walk alone with her. And, like, there was no scene for it. They... It, it was, like, never mentioned ever again. The fuck? Rude. Unless I'm just a dumb bitch and I haven't noticed. Minoru and I at a concert together. It feels like a date. I make sure to mark my calendar so I don't forget. Since it's a few weeks out. Oh, my fucking God. Not everything with Minoru is a date, hunty. Especially with Minoru. Maybe with his best friend Ken. Maybe. Not Minoru. We finish out our work at the shoot and then head back to the office. Cool. As we are wrapping up for the day. So we have a meeting with Ken tomorrow at 7 a.m. Oh my god, those people are so stupid. If he really cared about me, he wouldn't make me go to this meeting at 7 a.m. But I need to run some documents beforehand, so I'll just meet you guys here. Yeah, no problem. Be safe on your way home. Do you have any plans tonight? Oh my god, why, do, would, why would you ask that? No, I don't. Why do you ask? Just curious. Why are you curious? Minoru, I'm going to take a shower and masturbate using that shower head of mine. And then I'm going to bow down to the Queen Maple. She's my queen. And you wouldn't understand because you're stupid. But, yeah. That's all I'm going to do. Now, I know what you're going to do. You're going to, like, go out to a bar, flirt with some chicks, probably fuck a few, and then fuck off. Disappear into the night. I don't know. God. Something fucking stupid. It is so annoying. Because you're Minoru. You're annoying. Okay. Okay, well, you be safe on your way home, too. Oh my god, is he fucking that woman? That would be so funny. In the worst way. Will do. I wonder what that was all about, me too. <laughs> She's gonna forget about it. After I made myself some pasta for dinner. Delicious. I hope it was spiced well. I clean up and make some tea. Now I feel like pasta. But I, I had a fried chicken burger. And the fried chicken was made by me and was extra crispy and extra spicy. Because I love spicy food. I fucking wish I could shove a reaper pepper up my pussy. I, I really wish I could. But that won't feel good at all. I just love spicy food to the point where my vagina fluids get really hot and spicy as well. You guys just don't understand. I clean up and make some tea. Minoru is calling. Oh my god, why is Minoru calling? My, my dog is worried. Yes, my queen. She's my queen. You're my queen. See, her name is Sabella, and she's a pumpkin. You all have to bow down to her because she's the queen. She's worried about me. What a good baby. Hi. Yes, thank you, my queen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I simp for my dog, okay? You're not a loser if you simp for your fucking dog. Or cat. Or any pet. You can simp for your pets. It's fine. Because they love you. It's technically not simping because they love you. Yes, yes, queen. Ah, Minoru is calling. Why? Why is he calling? I wonder what's going on. Yeah, no. Well, I wonder what's going on too. Minoru! What do you want? Hey. Hi. Is everything okay? Why are you calling? <laughs> He's so weird. <laughs> He's just fucking weird today. <laughs> yeah? Does something need to be wrong for me <laughs> <to call? laughs> Um, 
Yeah, kinda. It's kind of weird. You're calling. You're acting weird. You're acting like you got a boner for me. You're acting really horny. I don't like it. Stop. Just do not call me at night after I eat my pasta too. You fucking ruined it. You ruined my mood. I was having a great time alone with my queen eating pasta, probably feeding some my queen the pasta as well. And she loves it. <laughs> That's what I did. I feed some pasta to my queen and she loves it so much. She loves pasta. She's like a child. Children love pasta. It's funny. It's adorable when they do that. Yeah. It's not the worst thing in the world to like pasta. <sighs> yeah. Well, you've never called just to chat before and it's kind of weird. I'm kind of weirded out actually. Like I'm actually seriously weirded out. You have nothing else to do tonight, right? Well, yeah, yeah, I have nothing else to do, but like, how do you know? I could uh, be planning to meet up with a sugar daddy. I could be filming a porn. I could be masturbating with my shower head, yet here you are, like, disrupting me. Imagine. That would be very funny. I could be doing all three, like, you don't know. I suppose not. So that's why he asked earlier. He wanted to call. That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, no. So what are you doing? Masturbating with the shower head while f filming it. What are you doing, Minoru? Hey, 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 hey. Don't make up fucking rumors. That was my dog. She was licking. Making some tea. What kind of tea? Why do you care, Minoru? <laughs> I'm so weirded out. Yet I'm red. Why am I red? Ew, gross. Red from an order. Disgusting. Really should, like, put bleach on my skin now. I was thinking to try rose since Ken likes it so much. Oh my god, is he gonna get jealous? It's too flowery for me. I knew it. I like rose tea. You're just a bitch boy. Yeah, you like chai and pumpkin spice latte, but that's not a tea. That's. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that has coffee in it. I can't remember. Ding, ding. Good girl. I am not a pet. And you are not my daddy. All right. God, Minoru, stop. All right. Why did you call me? I can't believe you're so suspicious I of me. I am. <laughs> I'm actually very suspicious. You can't believe it, Minoru. Do you not know who the fuck you are? Also, that's a really nice house. He actually has a really gorgeous house. I love it. Like, is that a... That's a big house. That's a two-story-ass house. Or maybe it's not, and I'm just... So much... Of a city person. Like, I've only dealt with the city. And, like, it's just small apartments. Oh, yes, my queen. My queen wants to be scratched. Yes. You're going to have to wait, all right? God, stop being so fucking selfish. Oh, yeah, da, 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 Yeah, she's very suspicious. All right, I may have called to ask you about something. I knew it! It was something! You had that look all over your face. Yeah, you may be animated, but you had a... I have something to tell you all over your face. It was suspicious suspicious as fuck i knew it yeah go ahead menoru tell I me i believe i am owed an embarrassing story from your time in college <laughs> i love it you know what give it to him give it to him come on give it just give it to him oh i know just like override that embarrassing college story and like pull down your shirt show off your okio pies and um yeah See how he reacts from there. And then just pull him up and go, oh, an accident. And that'll be your embarrassing story. Like, between the two of you, it'll be really romantic. What? What? This is not what I expected. I mean, yeah, I, I kind of expected worse. You can't <laughs> use work as an excuse now, so go on. I'm waiting. <laughs> Fucking gun face. 
<laughs> I love it. What makes you think I embarrassed myself all the time in college like you did? Menaru! Exactly. And when I did embarrass myself, I wasn't embarrassed by it because I'm proud of everything that I do because I am a narcissist. Hey, it wasn't all the time. <laughs> Yeah, it was all the time, Minoru. I mean, your whole face is an embarrassment. I don't know what the hell you're on about. <laughs> well, I have to I have to admit, it was nice to see a different side of you, Minoru. Stop fighting with him! It's not gonna end well from there from here. Then you can imagine why I'd want to see a different side of you. <gasps> but you said you said we're not going to get along romantically, dude. We should not get closer to each other. After all, you're doing this after we made out. Dude, after we made out, this is the only reason why you're doing this. Only you made out. And what do you want? <laughs> I can't. I just, dude, dude, dude. I just. Uh, oh, I'm red. My cheeks are burning. Ew. So just. It's just weird. And you said not to get involved with you. Isabella, stop. Stop it, Sibella. You're so sweet. Mm. She's licking my face. And I'm like lying down, so it's kind of like a weird position. I have to like protect my thing. Da 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 da. Oh, okay. I'm protecting my friend from that dialogue, huh? Minoru's low tone did something to my heart. Ah! Mm. You know what? It didn't do anything to my heart. It does something to my pussy. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, can you at least pick a category? Contrary to popular belief, I embarrassed myself so much that I can't narrow it down. <laughs> After she says, oh, no, what makes you think I've embarrassed myself? She goes, I've actually embarrassed myself way too many times. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't fooling anyone, but what are the categories? <laughs> what are the categories, huh? I wonder what her categories are. Uh, first week of college... Classroom, outside of school, oh, juicy. Graduation, probably any topic you can think of, I'll have a story. Let's go with first week in college. Oh, spicy, all right. Oh, I expected him to pick something more spicy, but that's good. That's a good one. Okay, well, for starters, I used the men's shower at this good gym for the first few times I went because I was the only one in there, and then... Then the last unfortunate time I went, I walked in on one of the student aides that worked there. <gasps> what did I do? Literally could not use the gym again and again until next year when he had graduated. <gasps> Rude, eh? Embarrassing. Though that was like nothing. <laughs> that is pretty embarrassing. I can just picture the tips of your ears going pink. <gasps> Manoru, stop think, stop picturing me like that. It's not like that. Oh, what? The tips of my ears? Ugh. My tips of the ears are pretty hot now. I instinctively covered my exposed ears with my head. Girl, why do you, do you tie up your hair or something when you sleep? Ew. <laughs> yeah, whenever you're embarrassed, they turn pink. Oh. <gasps> Rude. How dare you notice the details like that? Men are rude. It's really rude. cute. <gasps> mm -hmm. Shut up, Minoru. Lying ass bitch. I uncover my ear to see that it really is Did reddish at the top. How am I supposed to realize when my ears are... I like right at the side of my fucking head, idiot. N no, I didn't. Now I've got to wear my hair down. Yes. Well, I like your hair down, but can you tuck it behind your ears so that I can see? No! No, that's it. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'll make sure that um, I'll make sure that they cover my ears all the time. Okay? I won't be tucking them behind them just cuz you said so. Just because you said so. I was going to like tuck him behind him. I was going to wear like a headband or like a clip or some shit. But now, now, 
they're gonna be in my ears at all they're gonna be like over my ears all the time it's those kind of details that make you so fun to tease Ah, oh, Manoru! Stop this! Keep talking to her like that. She's gonna fall in love with you, dude. Like, and I'm gonna be left so emotionally distraughted. Well, I've gotta feed my cat! Yes, mention the queen. I wonder how he's gonna act towards the queen. I have the queen. I have my queen right in front of me. Ah, yes, queen. She's so sweet. She's so sweet and small and adorable, and I love her so much. She's precious. You have a pet cat? Can I see? <gasps> he wants to see the queen! <laughs> oh, fine, Minoru. You've won my heart. Ah, oh, yes, 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 my queen. Yes, my queen. Sorry, sorry. My my queen just moved. She likes massages and scratches, so she wants me to scratch her constantly. Very funny. You have a pet cat? Can I see? Yes! He wants to see the queen! Shut sure. I pan over to show Minoru my cat Maple! Yes! He better bow down! He better bow oh, down to the cat! So cute. Wait, is it a girl? Yes, it's a girl. <laughs> In the beginning, I thought that too. And I was like, is it a girl or a boy? Either way, I love it. I love her. I love her. And then we find out it's a girl. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. Her name's Maple. Bow down to the queen, Minoru, or else I won't date you at all. Nice to meet you, Maple. Mm. Okay, yeah, he's manworthy. All right, all right, fine. Do you have a pet, Minoru? I do. I have a mouse. Oh my god, I want to... Oh my god, no wonder. I want to see. I want to see mouse. A mouse? Oh my god, so fitting, eh? Yeah, Ironic. he's asleep right now. I want to see the mouse. Is he fat? Is he, like, really fat? Or is he, like, really fit? <laughs> Either way, I want to see mouse. What's his name? Looked away as he answered sheepish sh sheepishly. Oh, my God. What's, it, what's the name? Mino. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Oh, perfectly fitting. Hey. That's Ken's nickname for Minoru. Why, dude? Why? Because it's, it's Minoru Jr., dude. You don't get it. You just don't. You gave him I your just nickname? Thought, you know, the mouse sounded good. It does sound good, Minoru. I'm not going to lie. That's adorable. All right. I will bow down to your little king. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a cat to feed? She can stop. We feed her like twice a day, right? <laughs> she feeds her in the morning and then she feeds her at night. I was lying, by the way. Minoru. Oh, yeah, I do. Want to see me feed her? He's probably like, hell, hell yeah. I'll see you in different weird angles. Hell yeah. He's clearly just embarrassed. How cute. Why is he embarrassed? It's a mouse, dude. I'll see you tomorrow at 7, okay? No, I won't be seeing you at 7. I mean, unless you mean 7 p.m., then hell yeah, I, I am going to meet you at 7 p.m. Okay, night. night. Ugh. That was like the worst embarrassing story I've ever fucking heard, dude. I wanted something more juicy. As we hung up the phone, I continued to laugh to myself as I got Maple's cat food out. Me, when Daichi said that thing that he did. <laughs> I still love it. <laughs> you know, I feel like we're even closer now and it makes me happy. The next morning, as I was about to leave. Going to help, going to be held up here for a bit longer. Start without me. Oh, it's Minoru. Shit, she probably let Ken know. Just then, Ken texted me. <laughs> I, I thought about you while I was masturbating last night. Hot. Show me the picture <laughs> of the end results. Manoru can come today. Can we meet for tea? I knew it was something perverted. Well, he didn't say he can't come. 
I thought about what to do and Ken sent me the address to Tachi Tea House. Why Tachi Tea House? Why is everyone obsessed with um, Hiro Tachi's grandma's tea house? Oh, that's right by the office. I guess that's fine then. Yeah, worst case scenario, you can just walk to the office. All right, well, sure, I'll be there in 10. Wait, cool. It's got Google Maps. Just as I was about to put on, put, just as I was about to put, about to put my PDA in my bag, Maple let out, let out a screech. Maple, go, what's wrong, queen? What's wrong, queen? Who do I kill for you, queen? I run over to see she's upset at a bird in the windseal. <laughs> Go away, bird, or else I kill you. How dare you upset my queen like that. I close the blinds and run out to me again. <laughs> Okie okay, you look so beautiful first thing in the morning. Yeah, you know what? That's what Minoru said, but it was like way more perverted. So you can see. So like... That's really nice. Thanks. You know the bar is so low when I when I consider Ken to be nice. Holy shit. Th thanks. Ken and Minoru are both flirtatious, but for some reason Ken's compliments leave me a lot more embarrassed. Yeah, and Minoru is leaving me so fucking mad. I want to shove a cactus up his ass, then push him off a swan boat. Probably because he seems completely sincere actually no he seems completely fake but okay Minoru did say he always says exactly how he feels ah so he's horny okay cool thinking that I moved my hair to cover my ears <laughs> why because only Minoru can see your uncovered ears okay cool it's so nice to get the this date with you to start my day boy <laughs> This is a date? 6 a.m. is not a date. We're here for work, so you shouldn't think of it as a date. Aren't we here to talk about marriage partners? Man uh, <laughs> See, you pissed me off. I was about to call him Minoru. <laughs> but Ket, stop it. Ugh, so full of shit. Well, yes, but... I've forgotten how to woo a woman, so I need practice. Is that what you call it? You're exactly like Minoru. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem like he doesn't know how to, how to me. Yeah, it just seems like a bullshit artist. See what I mean? He's not sincere. God, you're stupid, okay, bye. How about a practice date? Can't you at least agree to that? Sure, I'm single. It's not like Minoru and I are dating. <sighs> well, I'd have to ask Minoru. Why are you gonna ask Minoru, dude? You can't. You can't. You don't have to ask Minoru. What? You married to him or something? You don't need his permission. You don't. You don't need his permission, even if you were married. But still, you don't need his permission. God, so old-fashioned. She's lucky she's not Arab, otherwise she probably would marry the first cousin she saw. He's d he'll definitely say no, I fished through my purse for my PDA. Wait, where is it? <gasps> Did you forget? Did I forget it at home? Oh my god, no. Did you misplace your phone? Can I con- I can contact him if you want. If you'd like. Sure. I'll have to go back and get that later if I get the chance. Though, I guess my laptop functions almost identically. It's just less convenient. Yeah, I get it. He said he didn't mind. He's going to be really late. He's going to be really late, sounds like. Did you word it exactly how you said it? Or are you... Or did you not send it at all? Did you pretend like you sent it? Boy, I don't trust him. What? What? I can't believe Minoru is going along with this. Yeah, I find it really suspicious. And since when is Minoru ever really late? <gasps> Did something happen? 
Do I gotta fight some bitches? Oh my god, yes. I'll fight- I'll, I'll fight politics. I'll fight politicians. I don't give a shit. Fuck. You know me when I was playing Mystic Messenger Sarens route? <laughs> like, if I was really MC, if MC was like really me, I would have fought- um, I would have fought that guy. I would have- I would have fought their father. I don't give a shit. Please, we can get back on track with the marriage partner's next meeting. It's still early, and it's just a practice. Truthfully, I don't really know what I'm doing with dating, though. Yeah. I've been so focused on my studies and then my career that quite a bit of time has been gone since I dated. Yeah, the only person she ever dated, I guess, was... Hero. I suppose, but to tell you the truth, I don't have a lot of practice myself with dating. Neither do I. We're in the same boat. <sighs> Difference says you probably went on a, on a date with the best guy ever. Lucky. God, don't know what that's like. No! Oh my god, she told him, and now he thinks she's vulnerable or some shit. Bitch, if it were really me, I'd punch you in the face. Ken came closer and set his hand on mine. Don't touch me! Oh my god! I don't even want Minoru to touch me. What makes you think I want you to touch me? That's alright. Let's figure it out together. No! Ew! <gasps> Chapter 8. And that is it for this episode. I wonder what happened with Minoru. Also, he kind of did bow down to the queen, and that's what matters. Anyways, um, bye, babies.